What's up, Dreamer Tribe? What's up, world? I am Bianca, and welcome to my channel. Before we begin, we've got new content almost every day, so be sure to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to be a part of the notification squad by clicking on the bell icon as well to get notified whenever new content comes out. Alright guys, so today we are going to do another Valkyria Chronicles 4 video. Now this is the final level, the final story mission available in the demo that is currently out on the eShop for the Nintendo Switch, the PSN Store for um, the PlayStation 4, and the Xbox, um, the Microsoft Shop, I don't know what it's called, but it's also available there, I think, since this is coming out for the PC, um, the PlayStation 4, and the Switch, as well as the Xbox. Now, um, since the start of Operation I Northern recorded France. this um, playthrough of this level um, with a narration, or I hope I did, but as it turns out, I forgot to turn on Yet the, the microphone while I was um, recording, so I have to um, redo the whole narration thing so the during um, post-editing. Now, so since that out. is the case, the I will be doing something different. Instead of Limber showing the base. entire level, I'm Commanded going to do this in a sort of a walkthrough style. Um, a vital uh, since um, that way we would save time, since this is a pretty long video, a pretty long mission um, to cap off the demo. Now, we i'm gonna show i'm just gonna show the important parts of the 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 level i'm not going to show the entire wow. thing so this i hope that's all right i'll just it's make incredible. it up to you guys on the next videos Apparently now these facilities um, can accommodate over 3, this is following um, what happened in the previous video that, where we finally food, meet fuel, and Riley, who has a sort of troubled past with Claude. Impressive. And um, we're also, we were introduced to a new class in the More Valkyria like Chronicles franchise, better, which is I the Grenadier, we and it's territory. a pretty cool and powerful um, um, unit the to use. Now, this mission try. has fewer cutscenes. Than the others, so for now let's just watch um watch the cutscenes. Excuse me, our squad takes excellent care of the Hoffman. I have to admit, this really puts the scope of our mission into perspective. Hell yeah! With this much heat, the imps are gonna feel the burn. No. We've barely seen the tip of the iceberg. Even all this might not be enough. Oh, you think? A way to rain on our parade, Commander. Hey, who's that? They got some weird get-ups. Oh, those are Navy uniforms! That's a surprise. What are naval troops doing this far inland? Well, I salute him for swimming all the way here. <laughs> Whoa! -ho -ho! Check out the ass on that one! I'd swab her deck. Uh, hold up, Raz! I'm just gonna say hi. Break the ice, you know? He's hopeless. I just hope he doesn't get into trouble. Don't hold your breath. Yeah. Anyway, we still have some time before the meeting. I'm gonna go take a look around. Alright, so we're finally introduced to the headquarters menu. So we have book mode, R&D facility, training field, and the command room. Now, book mode just brings us back to the, to the, the book Men so this menu where we can center. select the yes, levels. Going to now for com command room, 
this is going to, um, as the name suggests, right be it's the menu where we get the and to cons of um, switch up our units, um, view our first units as well I'll as over the squad our as a whole. roster. So tutorial, command room. Enter the command room to switch active squad mates and change uh, their equipment. When you want to try a new unit, select Squad Setup to access them. Optimize your squad by managing their combat classes and the squaddies each soldier likes. So, as I've mentioned in the previous video, um, that which squaddy, which which squad, which um, squad I'm member, right another this. squad member likes. Um, is used to trigger their um, potential and also it that potential can be positive or negative depending on who they are with now in the previous games we have also um, the dislikes the people uh, a certain squad member does not like and that triggers the negative um, effects but since we only have uh, the um, likes squad member I don't I don't think they would actually tell you which one um, a squad member dislikes in this game so we can change equipment and customize the loadouts of the soldiers depending on uh, whether we've unlocked um, a uniform or an equipment as well as accessories now the accessories as it was mentioned in a tutorial before we obtain that via completing uh, missions and achievements so we only have two for this demo right now that we can also transfer to the full game so let's equip these all right so now let's check up on the tank parts now this um change parts thing is pretty new this optional parts um each optional part has a size associated with it such as 2x1 so we have limited space and we have to keep size and placement in mind now this is similar to how they did with um, a previous I think Gundam game as well as the Soids game now as far as I can remember since it has been a long time ago since I've played the other Valkyria Chronicles game um, we didn't have that um, box uh, thing for placing that should do it for now um, the optional part or I think battle. we did actually I now I'm, I'll be spending I'm trying there. really hard to remember but anyway that's that adds to the str strategic um, thinking we need to have um, in playing this game now we the second um, menu the item is a training field I've been charged with squad east so training. the training field as um, is as again name implies a place where we can train up our units the now um, in, the, goes in, the, in the I think I it was the second Valkyria Chronicles game we had to do it individually Each compared to how we did it on the original which was that um, each um, uh, class level up, levels up together so let's see what the tutorial has to say about it so we spend experience points at the training field to level up and leveling up a class will strengthen all the squad members of that class so we are back to the first Valkyria Chronicles game training field mechanic so we will use our experience points to make sure that our squad now, is as of. strong as they can be now um, in leveling up our class units, we can also end up unlocking um, orders as, as well as potentials. Now, um, the orders we get to use that during battles and the potentials I think are unlocked for the entire um, squad members within that particular um, class. So I'm pretty happy that they reverted back to this setup rather than what they did on the second, I'm sorry, second, I was about to say first, on the second Valkyria Chronicles game. Now that, that, that game was pretty painful since it was so grindy if you wanted to um, strengthen your squad so you have to keep 
leveling up You've each particular up, so squad members and not just uh, the class. Hmm. You've proven you have what it takes. Try taking those lessons to the battlefield and come back when you're ready. Ah yes, let me tell you about potentials and orders. When combat classes rise in level, sometimes the soldiers show new potentials, or you might gain access to new orders. You could say potentials show your soldiers' traits and tendencies, or at least how they manifest in battle. Orders are commands that you alone can issue in combat, either to individual soldiers or your squad as a whole. The thing about orders, actually, maybe you'd learn better through practice. Use your orders judiciously and you can tip the scales. Watch the flow of battle and command with discretion. That's all from me. I expect nothing but the best out of you and Squad E. All right, next up we have the R&D facility, the research and development facility. Now this is the place we go to to um, level up our Perks equipment, obtain new weapons, base, huh? and if we, we have blueprints we can make those or develop those um, into actual items. Now blueprints can be obtained anything. Um, as rewards to levels and also we'll for defeating um, special units which um, will be tackled on later in this video. So tutorial R&D facility. <coughs> research, and research and develop armaments for infantry and tanks by spending DCT. New armaments unlock as the game progresses, so check into research and development often. So, um, unlike, um, oh here, another, forgot about this, another tutorial for equipment. Develop equipment to forge new weapons and armor for infantry units. Rifles, machine guns, grenades, and other weapons are mass-produced, so once it's developed, all units can then equip it. Upgrades like firepower and accuracy boosts will automatically be applied to soldiers equipping those weapons. Um, so unlike the experience points we get um, and use for le leveling up um, squads and obtaining um, those potentials and orders, all done, um, the DCT cool, is right? for um, research and development, obtaining new items. Now, um, at this point while I was um, wow, recording this, I Almost didn't like a shame remember that the experience points are also used to obtain, um, obtain orders from um, a different source. Wow, so in the second great. game, it hey, was um, a quick picture before you run it off was it. on that I think bakery place where you can obtain orders by using the experience points you've obtained as payment um, to learn the, those orders. So here we have I think the mess hall, which will be unlocked um, later on in the video, but in the same um, chapter. So I didn't remember that, done, so Claude. I end up passing on. Cool, right? um, the first um, order that Minerva was willing to teach us. So, just a heads up for Whoa, those who hey, who are playing this game or who intend to play this game, don't use all of your EXP on leveling up your squad just yet. Make sure to check on the mess hall before going to um, the training field um, to leveling up to level up your characters. Alright, so we have another tutorial this time for tank parts. So develop tank parts to enhance your vehicles and create optional parts. Weapon and body enhancement focus on cannon and armor strength. All enhancements stack. Treads and other and attack support allow you to develop new optional tank parts. Optional parts take effect once equipped on the vehicle, so outfit your tank to fit the situation. Now, I remember one particular um, optional part which was 
a lamp um, in, the, in the first game as well as in the second game um, that was available and that is used to disperse um, the fog around um, Whoa, around the tank great. so you can see hey, um, farther you than you normally it. would have if you haven't equipped it and you are in an environment where there is fog. So right now we only have one um, optional part and that's a bulletproof visor. I don't remember where we got that, probably as a reward um, from a previous mission. So um, what else do we got? Kind of exciting, isn't it? Once we're ready, let's come back and make something to strike fear into the Empire. Alright, so a new episode has been added, research and development facility has been added, and tutorial headquarters. So this is kind of delayed. Um, training and R&D require experience and DCT for upgrades and weapon development. Um, we already know that. We have been to those facilities. Um, visit HQ after gaining experience in combat and to prepare for upcoming battles. Access headquarters from the book menu tab or press X to reach the menu. Skirmishes have been added, so, um, tutorial skirmishes. Skirmishes are battles that can be waged at any time for experience and DCT. New maps appear as you progress in the story, so use skirmishes to train when main battles become tough. So those skirmishes will be, um, profitable for us. Access skirmishes from the book menu, uh, book mode tab, or press X on the men uh, to call the menu. So squadmates killed in action become unavailable in the main story. If they die in a skirmish, uh, they're gone. So um, as I was saying, the skirmishes um, they will be useful for as um, as a tutorial um, has said for leveling up our characters for obtaining the experience and DCT points required to enhance them. So the dying part on the skirmishes, uh, that's kind of new, I don't remember that being possible in the previous games. And also we've unlocked a bunch of other stuff that I have no idea why they didn't just um, give it to us or show us that we've unlocked them um, upon completing a previous um, cutscene. So um, let's return to the headquarters for now since we've unlocked um, the mess hall and the private um, quarters. Now let's check up on the private quarters first. Visit your private quarters to view information about the game which will increase in volume as you progress. So we have here um, sort of an almanac for or an encyclopedia for the personnel, the weaponry, as well as a glossary. Now news, um, news is I think the most important part of um, the private quarters or what the private quarters offers. Since um, if this is similar to how it has been uh, for the previous games, we can unlock new skirmishes and missions from reading um, news articles. So here we can view um, the personal or the, the character models as well as background information about each um, personal. I'm not gonna open each of those since that would take um, quite a long time so here's just an example. So we can change outfits. I think that's just um, on the character viewer on the model and not um, on the actual game so we can also check on the weapons as well that includes um, similar to the personal tab um, the model for the weapon as well as a little bit of information concerning that weapon now we also have here the glos glossary um, now as I was saying um, the news articles the most important <laughs> part of the private quarters a menu so um, you know we can read uh, these articles to keep us up to date um, I'm gonna just open each of this now you can just pause um, the video if you want to read them um, since 
I don't know how fast you guys can read. So these are added as the game progresses and as I've said before we can obtain new missions and sometimes even items from them. Now those missions can be um, a little bit difficult than the normal skirmishes that are unlocked as the game goes on. Now decorations. Meeting certain conditions in combat may earn you medals. You can view any medal you've earned in the decorations tab. So this is sort of the achievements part of the game. Now, if we, you are playing on the Xbox or the PlayStation or even on Steam, then you will unlock um, actual trophies and um, achievements for your profile. Now, since uh, this is for the Switch and we don't have such systems, the decorations tab is as close as we can get to them. Now here we can see the statistics um, of our playthrough as well as the tutorials. There's a tutorial for a tutorial. Why, why do you need the tutorial for a tutorial? Um, so yeah, just if you forget how to control the game or how the game works, I guess you can go back here and read it all over again. So. This is the mess hall. As I have said before, um, What's the, matter, Claude? the mess hall is important better, um, not just for that. character development or as far as character development can go in this game, won. but Obviously, also for unlocking I see my comrades orders. in arms lying wounded out there. We're not in boot camp anymore. This is war. If that's all it takes to get you down, you won't stand a chance when the bombs really come flying. I know that, all right? War means blood. War means death. Still, that doesn't make it any less painful to leave behind a comrade you know you could have saved. I'm not disagreeing with you, but tending to the wounded is the medic's responsibility, not ours. Sure, except when they're too far away to make it in time. Sometimes you can run as fast as you can to get help, and still get there too late. Hmm. Can't argue with that. If only we could relay the urgency of the situation to HQ. Perhaps like this? Okay, so now we have the tutorial for the mess hall. Talk to your squad mates at the mess hall to learn new orders. Learning a new order requires experience points but will grant an edge in combat. Now, this would have been a pretty useful um, um, order to learn, but since we only have 71 experience we points left after upgrading our well, squad and our units, I wasn't able um, to purchase it. So, as I have said before, do keep in mind that before you train your units, go back first or go first to the mess hall. So if that if there's new um, orders to be obtained, you can obtain them and not um, do the same mistake that I did. Glad to see you're on time, Claude. Tour the base yet? Yeah. Compared to the old camps, this is heaven on earth. Excellent. I expect you to put all this funding to good use. Sir, the commanders of squads A through I have assembled. Then let's get down to business. I know squad E just arrived, but we already have marching orders. Our mission is to capture a small town northeast of here. According to reports, Rain is one of the enemy's most valued comm centers. Which is why it's being guarded by a tank platoon. That complicates things. Squad E is mostly infantry. Do we have the right equipment for urban and anti-tank warfare? Don't worry. This time you'll have fire support. Once you infiltrate the city, simply relay the tank's coordinates to the field artillery team. I see you already thought this through. We also received intel that the Empire is inflating their numbers with decoys. If we can discern the real tanks from the fake, rain is as good as ours.
Excellent work, Lieutenant. I'm glad I can depend on you. You flatter me, sir. <laughs> Impressed? Control info and you control the war. Joint ops, huh? Coordinating with the fire support unit is gonna make or break this mission. <laughs> Try to minimize collateral damage. We plan on repurposing their gear for our own comm center. Minerva, you are to lure the enemy troops as far away from the city as possible. Consider it done. Squad E will then sneak in and gather intel for the field artillery team. Understood, sir. Yo, I hear we're moving out already. Oh, shame. I just scored a hot date with a Navy babe. <laughs> you wish. You got shut down. Hard. Uh, you were watching? Raz, what you do in your spare time is up to you. But when you're on duty, you represent the army. <laughs> Who are you, my mom? <laughs> Feels like it sometimes. Anyway, you said we'd have fire support. Does that mean it's a joint operation? You guessed it. <sighs> hey, looks like you're still alive. I'm glad you're okay too. They told me you'll be commanding my team. Oh, really? Well then, I look forward to... Spare me. I already requested a transfer. Uh, oh. But orders are orders. Until my transfer goes through, you're in charge. Not that I expect real leadership from a scaredy clod. <sighs> what do you know, Riley come lately? You just got here. All dark and no bite as always. You mind shutting up while the grown-ups talk? What the hell? It's been ten years and that's how you greet an old friend? Hi there, Riley! I know it's not my business, but Claude... Uh, Lieutenant Wallace is a great commander. None of us would have made it this far without him. We trust him with our lives. And... Since we'll be working together, maybe you should, uh... I should trust him? I'm sure it's all sunshine and rainbows while you're winning, but when the chips are down... Running away is probably all he could manage. Cut it out, Riley! <sighs> the Empire took your family from you, not Claude. He's grown up since then. Judge him for who he is now. Leave it be, Kai. But... It's all right. Words can't change the past. We'll just have to rebuild. Rebuild what? Our trust. Huh? Riley, I'm gonna show you how much I've changed. At least give me a chance to prove myself. Let's make one thing clear. Unless it's for the mission, I do not take orders from you. Riley... Give me a break. So I'm really curious as to what went down between Claude and Riley. Um, but before that, let's just save this game before we head on to the actual mission. Um, so as I was saying, I'm really curious as to what happened between them since Riley is pretty angry 
um, at class, so it rank. must be something big. Alright, so we have the victory condition of finding all the real enemy tanks since apparently um, the enemy has placed um, decoys. So we need to make sure, just to make sure that Kai doesn't die, which tells you that she will play a vital role in this mission. Now, um, as I've said, this mission is pretty long, so I will be cutting um, or editing the video and just showing the important parts of the mission now I'll, as i was um um playing through this the first time around i made a mistake of um All right. adding um unnecessary units um, into the lineup so um for the sake of those who are just um watching this. this video planning to buy this game or using this video as a walkthrough um don't you don't need you don't actually need a lancer for this mission so right. the important um the important um units or classes to have in this mission are the sc scouts engineers um the the um, shock troopers and also you can add that um, grenadier that you have um, snipers aren't um, aren't really um, important for the first half of the mission so um, the important part is to just make to find um, the enemy tanks um, which I will show you where they are so you need to be able to travel great distances as well as um, to defeat the enemies that are on the camps you need to capture as well as to ensure that you're able to um, counter attack um, efficiently on the enemies and um, to um, fire at them as they are making their way to you that way you don't actually have to face them in battle they'll die before they actually reach um, the point that they're intending to go to yeah we can't spot the decoys until we're practically on top of them. Stick to cover and proceed with caution. Copy that. Though I can't speak for Raz. Say what? Claude, I need to go over something with you. Okay, so another one of the tutorials this time for orders. Claude can use CP to s issue special orders. Open the menu in the command mode and select orders to list your available orders. More powerful orders cost more CP. Learn new orders at the training field or by talking to allies at the mess hall. Understanding what each order does can change the tide of battle. So I think we've covered um, the, that part of um, the tutorial, we talked about no that earlier in the video. So now we need to find um, the tanks. Now the, the thing the is, um, the placement of the tanks, they, you, you would, wouldn't well, see them in. normally even if um, Looks like the controls there the isn't side. any fog. Um, uh, the fog just adds an additional level of difficulty for this level yeah, since you yeah. won't be able to see it. much. Um, you won't see the enemy um, you're not immediately about unless you're you. using a scout. So we need to be anymore. careful as we move along um, the map and uh, check every corner well, to find the if uh, there is an enemy present. Now, um, 
The first tank you will come across is a bogey. It's a it's um it's a decoy. Um so just you can hide on the bushes if you want, but you can just um walk walk along or run along um since this is a fake tank. But there is an enemy close by, so make sure um to deal with that enemy however you see, see fit. Uh, for this playthrough, I hid in the bushes, crawled as close as I can get without being seen before um, hitting the enemy with a headshot since that requires only two bullets to kill the enemy. Alright, so the enemy, the first um, enemy tank um, okay, so before that, let's just read the, um, the potentials tutorial. Every soldier has a set of innate abilities known as potentials. Potentials are awakened in combat under set conditions such as remaining HP, terrain type, and other factors. Each squad member has their own unique strengths and weaknesses. Okay, as I was saying, the first tank, um, the real tank, um, that you will find is um, located just before I found you. the um, the equipment. what do you call this the enemy camp. So just make sure you crawl um, on you. the space uh, on the grass so there that the are. enemies won't see you as there are a couple. Now you can't destroy the tank. The okay, you just need to find it, and sometimes um, you ha actually have to wait for. Um, a cutscene, a prompt that says that you have found the tank. a tank, otherwise um, the game won't register it, so you have right, to move around a little bit if it doesn't um, show that prompt up. Since you don't want to retrace your steps um, if you equipment. forgot um, or if that prompt didn't appear and you just moved along. Except also on your way here, um, you will encounter enemies. So once you've found that tank, um, I would suggest taking the camp um, at the corner. <laughs> Come on! Ha! <laughs> Easy! Target destroyed! Good work! Got enemies here! Alright! Got the base! So obtaining that here. camp will make our lives easier since one, one of uh, the other main now. objectives for this level is to press or to pull a lever so that we can open um, the gate that is keeping um, the tank from entering into the main battlefield. Now where that lever is can be found um, or the location of the lever can be found on that spot marked in the map with the flag so yeah, I w sure um, I was, as I was playing this uh, the first time around I made sure to divide my forces in a way that um, the scouts can find um, the tanks that uh, we need to find the real tanks while another um, one of my uh, squad members which um, in this playthrough was Raz um, heads off into the location marked in the map so that he can flip the switch and open the gate now um, I also made sure to place um, units on the camp that we just captured um, me. facing the direction of where I believed an enemy would come and that is on the on the road on the upper left side of of um, from where you're facing or where you are at camp where the camp is it's on the, the road closest to the camp so that if an enemy comes along um, we can intercept them with our own firepower and we won't have to worry about the camp being retaken Thanks. You're 
life the treads hold out. Alright, so here is um, Raz heading towards that Got lever um, that we need to open. And also, um, the tank that you will encounter on your way there is a fake. Um, so, there it is. Uh, that's the switch we have to press in order to open uh, the gate. Now I also made sure that Raz was facing um, forward, um, he isn't facing the wall when he ends um, his turn since, since there are enemies um, on the north side of the map, um, I set him facing that direction so that he can intercept those enemies and save um, his comrades if the enemy decides to attack. Also, use your tanks on the, inf the enemy infantry units and not on the tanks that you will encounter since again, you won't be able to destroy those tanks. So here I used a mortar blast um, to make sure that I kill the enemy even though I had to sacrifice the sandbags and also I moved the tank further along so that it can add act as a um, barrier between my infantry units and the enemy. There you are. Alright, so the next enemy tank um, that we need to discover for the mission is located on the north um, eastern part of the map. So be sure to hide on or in the um, grass part so that you won't get attacked by the enemy. Now there you will find a squarish um, area or everything here is square but anyway um on the left side of that area is our or our two fake tanks now the one you need to Hell yeah. um, find That's is located on the right side of the field Great. More in go. that particular area the of the map now, if you are using a scout to find these enemies, make sure that you crawl back to the left side of that area to ensure that you won't get attacked by the tank that you have just found. found them. Alright, the next enemy tank um, that we can find is a little bit tricky since um, if it spots you, it can easily kill you, even though... Um, even though it is facing um, the other way. So that tank is on the main street, um, on the main street on the right the side um, by an alleyway. Okay. Let's keep looking. Make so sure be we don't careful miss in using um, units that do not that have the, that much AP. Um, you have to make sure uh, that you can um, retreat your units or move them backwards. If you don't have enough enough CP points or command points to get them Here to retreat, the Found him. now the fourth tank is tank on the main four. road. Um, Good going. It's actually pretty more. hard Keep to looking. miss, um, though I do not know if um, the tank or your tank can um, find it but make sure that if you're using an infantry unit you hide behind the um the trees that are lined on the left side of the of the, the road also you can just forget about um the tank further along the main road since that is also a fake and again i w 
as I would, I would also like to um, retract what I said um, before that you can't use your tank because you can use it. You're just limited to um, where you can go with it since there are barricades. And also you cannot, again, I cannot stress it enough, you cannot attack the enemy camp uh, tanks. You can't um, destroy them. Even if you use or try to use your tanks, your own tank to do so. Also, whoever you have used to discover the tank on the upper um, east side of the map, um, keep using that unit as you move along northward. Now, just make sure that um, you are careful in doing so, as there are a couple of enemies um, in this side of the map. Also, make sure that, again, the tanks that you have discovered do not see you. Otherwise, we're in for a um, troublesome time. Uh, another thing to, thing to note is that the tank Attention on the northmost um, part of the map is a fake. Similarly, the tank on the lower left side of the map is also a fake, so you can use whatever... Um, unit you have available that is closest to it in order to for the game to prompt to give you a prompt that it is a fake tank now the fifth enemy or the enemy tank that you need to find is located on the northern part of the map it is just behind the barricade that the or that your own tank cannot cross now, you can also attack the enemy camp close by, but that is completely optional unless you're having a hard time finding the tanks. Why that is optional is because um, the second part of the mission, you lose all the, um, the enemy camps that you have obtained. Granted, um, obtaining or capturing all the enemy camps um, help get get you um, a higher rank in the game and also it is useful for um, retreating your characters that are on the western side of the map but again it's completely optional uh, unless you're really you really want to get um, a higher rank for the mission or if you just want to completely annihilate the enemies in this mission. As for the final tank that you would need to find in order to complete this first half of the mission, it is located on the west side of the map. Now you have to crawl through the grass in order for it not to attack you. Okay, we got a pretty good idea of where the tanks are. I'll report back right away! Something isn't right. What's wrong, Miles? Our signal's jammed. We can't radio fire support. What? But we need that artillery. I can't fire at random. And I can't even contact them. We should get out of here before we're surrounded. Claude! They're late. Have you heard from the front line? They were supposed to report in ages ago. I've been hailing them, but there's no response. You hailed them? What the hell were you thinking? <sighs> Lieutenant Miller, the enemy knows our position! They triangulated our radio signals, moron. No, we're done for! They almost got us! They only got the general direction. They won't land a direct hit that easy. But it won't be long before they do! Lieutenant, we have to retreat! If we run away, Claude's dead. And Squad E with him. Hold your ground until I say otherwise. At this rate, we'll all be killed. What if we're waiting for an order that never comes? <sighs> the 
chips are down, Claude. And you're MIA. It's just like before. If you really have changed, then prove it to me. Alright, so as I have been saying before, um, that was just the first part of the mission. Now, on to the second part. All bases have been abandoned due to um, the enemy's traps, so we are Enemy only left with one base, the one we are starting from on the second half the hell of the do? game. We can't even contact Lieutenant Victor! This mission's a failure, Claude. Only you can give the order to retreat. After we've come so far? Claude? No retreat. Our job is to tell fire support where to aim. And that's what we're gonna do. But how can we if we can't call them? The answer is... That tower. Huh? Oh, that's a signal tower. Back in the day, they'd switch up the numbers to send out messages. Sniper team, can you hit those panels? From here? Of course. Good, then get ready. We can use that tower to send coordinates to the field artillery team. Shooting the panels should change their numbers. I'll tell you what to display. First, make the top row say, 715. Roger that. Alright, so now we have a new victory condition, which is to snipe all the signal towers. Now, this is the part of the mission that I really enjoyed, since um, this is a very creative way that um, we get to use the snipers. And I believe this, this hasn't been done before in the previous games. So for now, let's just save the game first before we do anything. Unless um, you're feeling really gung-ho about it and are certain you won't mess up. So um, these um, box um, yeah. um, icons, boxy icons on the map are our targets. So we have to make sure that the panels on the... Um, towers read um, 715 so we only need to shoot um, the number that doesn't um, correspond correctly to that sequence of num That's of the number so on the that case on? it was you the six the first number um, that was wrong wait a minute the top row doesn't look like a coordinate I wonder what 715 means. Good work, Kai. Now ring the bell five times. Five times? <laughs> wow. July 15th. That takes me back. Hey, you sure they're gonna figure this out? Don't worry. Riley will definitely know what it means. See? They did it! They destroyed the tanks! Slick shooting. Those were both direct hits. Looks like your code made it through to Riley. Yeah. Kinda weird that Raz didn't get it, though. Okay. On to the next ones. Shoot a different tower and make the top row say 715. Complete the operation. ASAP. So that is actually the reason why we need to have kept um, Kai or Don't we need to keep Kai far. alive throughout the mission. Now, um, the enemies have respawned so we have Our to be careful as we move along. Supply. Also Target because confirmed. the tanks are still there. So just make your way to um, the, the various the locations, the mark area. on the map where the towers are. <sighs> Thank goodness. Great job! I knew you had it in you. 
also it's quite useful um, to capture the enemy base located on the north side of the map since um, you will be able to um, call out more snipers if you're having a hard time or changing up your units if uh, they are low on health. So, and it also adds to your rank, I think. So if you want, you can capture that. Um, <coughs> That uh, enemy campers make sure. Here I go. That you use are able to withstand enemy fire because there are a lot of enemies in this mission. Keep calm and move onward. Face capture. tower you can again use sky for this or you can use a different sniper if you have captured um, the enemy tower and have requested a um, another unit another sniper unit but you can hide behind um, the sandbags and just snipe at the last number on the second tower and change it to five in order um, for you to have um, finish this um, part of the Good. objective, the which right is the board. second tower. Bring the bell, you got it. Hell yeah! Music to my ears! The next tower is the last. Snipers! 715 up top, right? I'm on it. Alright, so if you guys are going to make use of the enemy camp that you have captured in the previous... Um, <laughs> On, on your previous Caught. turn, your then you have to make sure that you um, clear out the enemies on uh, the alley next to it. Also there you will find, um, on that spot where I have um, the Go scout, shot. you will find the ace enemy. Now aces have um, blueprints on them and they're considered leaders as well, so defeating them will um, get the enemy CP down to one as well as give you a blueprint. Now the third um, tower that you need to um, shoot at, you have to shoot at the middle number to change the zero in into the one. Once you have done that, you pretty much completed the mission, which is a, again a pretty long one and also a pretty fun one if difficult. Our tank platoon is wiped out? Impossible! So this is it. All right, we're pulling out. Make it quick. They beat an awfully hasty retreat, considering how many troops they had left. They lost their ace in the hole. Heck, I'd withdraw if I was in their shoes. Awaiting orders. Should we pursue? <clears throat> Negative. Our job is to capture the comm center. No reason to overextend ourselves. Now let's finish up the mission. Split up and find their radio equipment. On it, boss. All right, boys. One more job to do. Come on! <sighs> you saved us all. Thank you, Riley. Well, there you guys have it. The end of the mission. Operation complete. Now, because of how long it took for me to finish this um, mission, I only got rank C. So I'm gonna replay this game and hopefully, or replay this level and hopefully get um, a higher rank. But I'm probably not gonna 
I'm not gonna put it up here on my channel, I'm just gonna do it on my spare time. Now because we've also defeated an ace enemy, we get to obtain um, a blueprint of an imperial weapon. So according to this tutorial, um, the weapons made in the Empire have different properties from Federate armaments and they can only be obtained um, as rewards or spoils um, and are of limited use. They, you can only um, equip the, as many as you have compared to um, the items you obtain as rewards for completing a Good mission. News, Claude. HQ has awarded you with a medal. You certainly impressed someone in that last battle. HQ sent you something nice as a reward. And Miles, you should have seen the look on your face. You try keeping your cool with a bomb landing next to you. Hmm. Raz, Miles, come help me gather some parts we need. Uh, can't you do that on your own? Come on, Raz. Let's go. Where are they all headed? Good timing. Now we can talk in private. Riley. Mind if I sit down? Oh, uh, be my guest. July 15th is coming up soon. Remember how excited we'd get for the Star Child Festival? We'd all run up the clock tower, and the first five kids to reach the top would ring the bell. I remember the winners got to wear a Star Child medal. And every year you wore yours with pride. I always looked up to you. I loved that festival, almost as much as I loved winning. That's why I knew you'd recognize the signal. You dingus. For all you know, I might have forgotten. Not you. There's no way you'd forget those memories. You really do trust me, huh? The only reason I didn't retreat was out of stubborn pride. I was this close to leaving you for dead, though. Honestly, I didn't think you'd find a way out. And yet, here we are. I canceled my transfer request, by the way. I'll give you another shot. At least long enough to confirm you're not a scaredy clod. And it's your job to prove it. It's a little late, but... I look forward to working with you. Emergency! The city is... Look at rain! What's going on? Riley, come on!
did this. They set fire to the city so we couldn't take it. They pretended to withdraw but left agents inside. How could they? There are still civilians in there. Did the communications officers make it out? The whole city was doused with napalm. Once the flame started spreading, it was already too late. Riley, get a hold of yourself. Fire. No. Dad. Hey, stay with me. This isn't Hoffman. Your dad's not in there. Riley! Okay, so this is pretty much the end of the demo, at least when it comes to the story. So um, we only have the skirmish left to do, the additional chapter according to the um, description for the demo download. Now I've heard a lot of people comparing this to the first Valkyra Chronicles game. Um, I really don't find anything wrong with that considering that this um, takes place during the events of the first game. I actually find that as a good thing, although this game does um, and did include several new uh, aspects to it, several new game mechanics, and um, for a demo, it's actually um, long enough. Um, it captured uh, my interest, and I hope it captured a lot of other people's interest. Um, and I really am certain that I'm gonna purchase this game, not just as a fan, but to um, help the developers show them my support since this is a pretty good game and I can vouch for um, how amazing Valkyrie Chronicles um, story is. And um, that's that for now. Um, well, we still have that um, bonus mission we've obtained as well as skirmishes now i may add that into my channel um just as a walkthrough since um these will also be included on the full in the full game um so anyways thank you all for joining me um, in playing this game um i hope that you will give this game a chance as well if you haven't downloaded the demo yet if you have a switch a ps4 an xbox a pc demo should be available to you so give this a try it's actually pretty fun and pretty interesting um it has uh, interesting um, gameplay enjoyable cast of characters so um that's it for today I'll see you all on the next video. Dream on, fly on.